Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. The last time you might have seen me in my little office nook is when we were designing my bedroom space, which actually just went up on the YouTube channel and it was such an incredible makeover. I've been living in this room now for probably like two weeks since the makeover and it has just been such a perfect, perfect bedroom and I love having my office nook connected to it. This is where I do all of my work, where I edit my videos. Today we are going to be brainstorming and mood boarding the guest room transformation together because it is the next space we are going to be working on in the house. This room, if you do not recall, actually used to be a closet. So this was all built-ins right here, covered the walls in wood flooring to give it kind of East Coast academia, library, just a really warm and cozy place to be able to spend many hours because that's what I do in here. But in that last video, my bathroom behind me actually was not made over. And this bathroom makeover was actually not done by myself. This was my first ever time I have gotten a reveal for myself. And today's video is kindly sponsored by Lowe's because they gave me the most incredible bathroom makeover with the help of Monica Mangan, who hosts the show The Weekender over on Lowe's YouTube channel. If you've never seen The Weekender before and you love home or room makeovers, you have got to check out Lowe's YouTube channel. I'm going to link the new episode for my bathroom below. The Weekender is essentially a series where Monica goes goes to homeowners' houses and helps them transform a space in their home to have like a dream space they've always wanted in just a weekend. So it's a really quick doable transformation where a ton of different like takeaways are given. Then this year, Lowe's asked me if Monica can come and surprise me with a bathroom makeover. I don't think I had no say in the design process because Monica and I actually had a preliminary design meeting because as many of you know, I design my own spaces all the time. So she wanted to make sure that I had a say in the design and that I was going to love it in the end. However, she kicked me out and I was not able to see the space at all. But that's what you get to see the process of over on their YouTube channel. Literally, my heart is beating so fast right now. Can you feel it? Oh my gosh! <laughs> they ripped everything out, redid everything, like absolutely every inch of the bathroom got touched, but it was so clever how Monica did it. We worked together on a lot of projects as well. It was such an incredible and fun experience. Like I myself give people makeovers all the time and I do little weekend makeovers every now and then as well for friends, but I've never had a room made over for myself and being able to see the before and genuinely staying out of that space because I did stay out of it for the entire time they were working on it. And then seeing it after was the funnest experience of my life. Like it is something I probably won't have happen again. When Lowe's reached out and was like, you know what? We want to do a weekender episode in your home. I was, I was like, I need some help with a tile in here. It is daunting. It is overwhelming. So I was like, you know what? Come on over. Come on over, Lowe's. The episode is out where you guys can see my bathroom being transformed on the Lowe's YouTube channel. So definitely click the link at the top of the description box below. Head on over to Lowe's channel. Make sure to subscribe as well because there's going to be many more episodes coming out. Monica's actually shared some of the spaces with me of other ones that they're working on for the season. And they are unreal. You guys are going to want to see these transformations and the editing and everything just makes it feel like a real TV show as well. It's just an absolutely great watch, I will say. Today we are going to be jumping on into designing and just finding items, marketplace searching and browsing the internet to mood board together the guest room. So we have a lot of work to get done. This is a full bedroom and I really don't have too much direction. Battery died, checked the audio, added a microphone over here. So hopefully we have a little bit better audio now. The guest bedroom we are working on is just neighboring my room actually. And it is such a perfect room for a guest bedroom. It has such beautiful windows. It gets great natural light as well. And I feel like it's just a perfect size for a guest bedroom. This is what I use for all of my mood boarding. This is called Milanote and I love this. You can see I've designed tons of different spaces in here. I also do some of my brand projects in here. I have a few secretive projects down here that I can't really touch talk about yet. This was my kitchen mood board when I designed my kitchen, for example, and I just really like Milanote because when you actually save it, it looks like a pin board. So you can move things around. You can add notes if you want to, like you like the cabinets or you don't like the cabinets, or you can just reference the link because it actually saves the link as well. So you always have that kind of original link, which I love. So we're going to create a new board. Let's call this guest room. And I'm just gonna open up the guest room board. There's a designer that I absolutely love. Um, his name is Giancarlo Valle, and he just does such great design. As you can see, his work's 
incredible. I think his use of color and just everything is perfect. And I just really loved the layout of the room. I loved the low headboard. Here it is. Let me open this in a new tab. This is the inspo. And the reason why this is the inspo is because I really love the long low headboard on the back. And I have an idea for how I want to DIY this. I want to go ahead and upholster it. And then also upholster like a cheap platform bed that I can just attach to it. So it's like a fully custom DIY moment. And I feel like if that's the case, we can actually splurge just a bit on fabric since I'm not having to purchase an entire bed frame. The nice thing about this room as well is it actually is one of the only rooms in the house that doesn't have plastered walls. And I thought, why not do wallpaper? Since we have that opportunity, I picked up some wallpaper samples. Now I'm gonna start off with one of my favorites and I'm going to end with one of my favorites. I ordered these and I got them on the grass cloth covering, but this one here is the Art Nouveau Tulip. I really love this one a lot. I will say though that the color is a little bright. I feel like on camera it's probably even coming up dull. It's Art Nouveau inspired, which is kind of the era of my home and it's just perfect like I really like the yellow I think it's cute for a guest room as well this next one here is so gorgeous it's like a traditional block print and it kind of leans very granny chic but I love this I think it'd be cute it definitely leans feminine as well whereas I feel like the other one kind of has a mixture of that masculine and feminine vibe with the linear stripe I feel like that kind of gives more of a sporty vibe almost and it looks like an actual fabric if I was to put this on the walls I feel like they would look almost upholstered a little more of a safe option but I I love this because it actually is a plaid created with kind of a lacy motif within. I don't know if you guys can see the lace in there, but it kind of has this lacy pattern. There's something about it, and with the texture too, it's really interactive. Now, this is the one that a lot of people are loving over on Instagram. I actually shared these over on my Instagram, so if you're not following along, make sure to do so because I do a lot of design work over there too. This one's a little bit more traditional, but something about this one. I feel like almost looks like it could be like a backsplash tile or something like if, if this was done in like a tile format. I'm not exactly sure if I want this one on the wall, you know, I'm not sure. I think this one's so cute, but actually getting into person and seeing the scale of it, I think it just might be a little too cute for the room. And the one I actually really love, which comes in three different sizes, this is the largest of the three, is this green flower. And I feel like this one's great. It kind of has this really funky retro flair to it. And I love the color. I'm really into green. Green's definitely one of my favorite colors to design with and I haven't done it in this house yet so I thought why not go green in that room maybe and I would love to know in the comments if you have one that you prefer I'm just gonna add the two that I really like to the mood board and we're gonna work from there for the wallpapers I'm just gonna go ahead and save both of the options that I like for now I kind of want to do the reverse of what we're seeing in the inspo photo with the patterned headboard and the solid walls and maybe do like the patterned walls and then a more simple headboard and probably a simple ceiling that will kind of like pair each other together. I'm on Lulu and Georgia's site because they have some really great fabrics from some of their designer collabs like this high low checkered fabric. Look at how beautiful that would be on the headboard and like the bed even this yellow one would be so great with like the nouveau the art nouveau this one's really great too the roman holiday pulled a couple of simple fabric options from lulu and georgia this velvet fabric here is stunning it is in the color sand gabriel and i want to save it because i'm not sure if i'm absolutely going to purchase it from lulu and georgia but this is just a nice kind of reference point it also does come in the olive color as well I'd like a solid velvet, which I don't have to get it from Lulu in Georgia, but it is so beautiful. So I just, maybe I will. I don't know, I might order some swatches. What if I did like a box, I could do like a box pleat on the bottom, which could be pretty. There's a sofa here that I really love. Of course, like not for the bedroom, but I love the box pleat on the bottom of it. If I just got like a platform base for the bed and then I did like a box pleat with some fabric around the exterior. So it kind of was like a skirt that went down, if that makes sense. And so I want to just screenshot this box pleat detail. I'm going to just add it over the top of the image just so I can kind of get the vibe. Hey, that could be cute. Almost something just like this, like this queen bed frame, because we're going to cover it the entire thing. So if we take our bed frame and like put it against the headboard that we create and then kind of do this box pleat trim on the bottom, like look how cute that could look. I don't know if you guys are seeing this kind of vision that I have, but I feel like that could be really nice. I'll get all the DIY supplies at Lowe's for the headboard, like all the wood and everything that we need once that time comes. I just don't know if velvet would look great like that. I'll have to try that out, but I think it could be a really great touch. I've been looking at nightstands for a minute now, and I just found this really cool one. This is on CB2's website. Again, another clearance one. I don't know if you if you recall back to when we did my bedroom makeover and I did this same kind of video for my room. I found someone's on clearance from CB2 
for like $200. These ones are $279. Originally designed in 1987, so they have kind of like a postmodern feel to them. But something about this nightstand I feel like could look so great against a really long headboard. We have the space for it. The color is stunning. Or the, oh no, the burgundy with the yellow with this. Oh, could you imagine how pretty that could look? Another one from CB2. These are stunning. I love these. I feel like they would really, really just kind of anchor the bed. I need to choose a direction because I can't keep both of these open. I think I want to do the yellow, the direction of the yellow with like the burgundy. I definitely feel like it needs a chunkier nightstand like this wooden one here as opposed to that lacquered one I just found, which is sad because I liked the lacquered one a lot. I like to use this as like an inspiration. Maybe I won't get that exact one, but something I could try to look for like it on Marketplace or something. For the rug, we are just going to be going over to my website because I get rugs there for free. I thought one of these jute rugs could just be really great as the base. I've been wanting to use this Ausha one for a while. I also really like the Bodhi and the Mari rug. All right, so now I'm bringing this rug in here. I'm actually just gonna drag it over to the side and make it the largest and then put these back. I'm gonna do the CB2 nightstand just for the time being to give us a little bit more space to work with. For And for bedding, there is actually this gorgeous color on Bed Threads website. It is the color cacao. Justin and I actually went to an antique shop a couple weeks back and found a really beautiful 1870s dresser. So here it is. It's on the left right here. If you could see, it has this carved detail in the top and it is like an East Lake style dresser. And then it has a marble top on it. It's so beautiful. The base, it was on sale. I was thinking that this could be a really, really great dresser to put in that room. It has a mirror on it already. So it's kind of like built in and it feels perfect for the one wall that's in between the two windows. I think that that could be a great spot for it. Lighting is always the hardest for me. Now I actually already have a chandelier that I had purchased for my bedroom maker over but then I ended up using the one that I have in here which is that CB2 one so I have it it's really beautiful it's like an Italian mid-century style chandelier and I actually think it would work really great in the space so I think we can use that as the pendant light but for the bedside tables I found these two on Cherish I've been looking for like the last 20 minutes they are a little pricey they're 690 something I might be able to look for similar elsewhere but I think the mushroom style table lamp could be nice in there table lamps Spanish let's look up Spanish this West Elm Colin King table lamp is also gorgeous. It comes in a set of two for $4.98, which I don't feel is awful for like large table lamps. It is pricey, of course, but could be a good one just to save as kind of like a fallback if I can't find anything on Marketplace. And again, these are just pieces for inspiration. I could find way more affordable pieces on Marketplace. That's what I like to do with almost every single piece of furniture. Like I kind of get an idea for what I like, what silhouette I'm looking for. Then myself, Marie and Justin keep that out in mind when we're looking and just like on the app or whatever it is. I love the shape of the shade. Um, it's super pretty. I also know that we are going to be doing actual curtain panels in this room as well. I definitely want to do some like floor to ceiling curtain panels, kind of similar to how we did in the lobby below. I just feel like that looked so beautiful in that space. I thought in the rooms we weren't going to be able to get away with like doing curtains because the cove ceilings. However, I realized that we totally can. I get almost all my curtains from two pages. The curtains come in so many different colors. You could do different header styles and such. Um, I think I probably would do something kind of like this color over here. And I'm just going to screenshot this because these are things that I'm going to actually need to probably look at in person, but at least to get a look. Here we have the curtain panels. You can kind of see with the colors, just something similar to the rug. We're going to have dark wood floors around the rug. So I think that's going to break it up nicely. Kind of thinking for the ceiling to do like a dusty pink, like some sort of like muted, dusty, like setting plaster color from Pharaoh and Ball. Or this color here from Pharaoh and Ball called Templeton Pink is so pretty. I think that could look so nice with the yellow and the stripes burgundy velvet or even the green velvet honestly like the green velvet could look really nice in here too put the templeton pink up here almost so that we could see it in the background in the back bed threads has this stunning sheet set and i love the color it's like a raisin cocoa color they call it cocoa just simple bedding in this room, like very simple pillows tucked under, especially since we're doing it lower, like we don't need a bunch of throw pillows and accents. I'm just gonna drag this over here 
And you want to know what I'm realizing is that this dark blue could be a really nice pop in here, like pulling from the inspo picture. I actually have the still life over on my website. That's a vintage still life. It's still for sale. So if you want to grab it, you definitely can. But I think I might want to use it in the guest room just because the colors are great. It also has this really, really nice, like primitive nature to it. But this really pairs so nicely with like all the elements. We have the dark wood from the flooring. We have the burgundy. We have the orange kind of color in the nightstands, the yellow in the wall. I think we'll have enough room for like a little side chair as well. I just won one at auction. I just won this pair of um, Danish club chairs at auction, actually. I got them at such an incredible price. They're super, super cool. They're actually already here. I got them. Um, they're downstairs. And I'm going to screenshot this left one here because... It could be a perfect like little chair for that room. It kind of matches the style and then I could use the other one somewhere in the house. Yeah, I mean, honestly, like the mixture, a little pop of green in there too is so nice. I think just doing like these muted jewel tones could be really pretty in the guest room and then this pattern on the wall. It's gonna be there, but I hope it's gonna read a little bit more subtle because we are gonna be covering it with like the dresser and the large mirror area. The ceiling will be a different color as well. Oh my gosh, I haven't put in the chandelier. I completely forgot. There's an antique store in Los Angeles called Liz's Antique Hardware. You guys have seen me gone many times. And this light that I have right here this is actually from her website or their website they have it there but it's four thousand dollars and I've always loved it it's way prettier in person the photo doesn't do it too much justice honestly I actually found it on Etsy for a tenth of the price and I bought it this morning so it's on the way which I'm so excited about it looks a little large in this photo but it's on the smaller side I think that we could probably hang that above the bed I actually just found this photo of this East Lake dresser here that is very reminiscent of the one that I found online but it gives you way better of an idea mine's just packed in the corner of the living room downstairs but this gives you a good idea of the style and the direction of this mood boarding right here I only had this inspiration for the bed I still do need to kind of figure out which wallpaper and which fabric but I do think that probably a lot of this can interchange with a few of the other styles that we do have as well. I am also going to start keeping my eyes peeled for sure for some nightstands and just table lamps on marketplace because those are two of the more expensive items that I just know that I could find for a more reasonable price point if I put some effort into it. The only thing I'm not too sure about is the ceiling color. I don't want to do like accent trim where all the windows and the ceiling and like all the trim is an accent color just because I feel like it might go a little too coarse. I kind of want to keep the window trim very similar to the wallpaper and then just have like an accent ceiling as well But it needs to be muted like I don't want it to be bright So I'll have to see what color I could come up with for that And I hope that this was kind of fun for you guys Sometimes I do these videos and I'm like hopefully that gave you a little insight on my creative process Of how I put together kind of the starting point for rooms and of course it's going to develop from here I might find something on marketplace that could even change the direction of a lot of it or the tiniest little it, I might find a new fabric and then whenever I need to reference this I can go back on my mill note board I can tap any of the links I could purchase any of the items that I need to and I just like to keep everything kind of consolidated on a file like this I love the direction of this it kind of has this like burgundy and like honey amber yellow color palette and you also cannot forget to check out the makeover of my bathroom over on Lowe's YouTube channel which I'll also link at the top of the description box tap on over watch the video because it's a full-on makeover video like completely in depth. This bathroom would have been like a four parter on my channel. We did it in one part on low. So definitely give it a watch. So definitely give it a watch and a thumbs up. And I will catch you guys all in my next one, which we are actually going to be diving on into guest room makeover, believe it or not. There actually might be a couple DIY videos going up before that. So we shall see. I'll catch you all in my next one. Bye guys.